All right, week six, week 17 of the National Football League. Division week, as we all know. Let's get to it. Panthers taking on the Atlanta Falcons. It's quite simple. Panthers win. They Panthers beat the Falcons. They win the NFC South. However, this may surprise some people, but I like the Atlanta Falcons to win this game. I just don't think the Panthers can overcome the injuries of, St of Steve Smith. Holy shit, yeah. Because Steve Smith is out, and uh, I don't think there's any other receiver, wide receiver, mind you, talented enough to take over Steve Smith's number one spot. So, yeah, I'm going to take, so, yeah, sorry, i got to take the Falcons here. Redskins taking on the Giants. Look for Red. Look for the Redskins to further Shanahan's worst season of his career. Look for the Redskins to go three and thirteen. Although, look for that pick to change. But for now, I'll take the New York Giants. Steelers taking on the Browns. It's quite well. It's quite simple. The Steelers need to win, but they need a whole hell of a lot of help to get the final wild card spot. Steelers are not going to, I don't think the Steelers will do it, but they will win this game. They're not losing it. They're not losing to Cleveland. Not fucking happening. All right. Titans taking on the Houston Texans. Now, the last, now, sadly, the last win that Houston has gotten was against the Titans. But look for Houston to solidify their number one pick of 2014, because I'm taking the Tennessee Titans here. All right, Lions taking on the Vikings. And this is the Vikings' final, this will be the Vikings' final game at the Metrodome. So, so long to the Metrodome. Tails. For now, I'll take the Detroit Lions. Dolphins hosting the New York Jets. And I'm taking I'm taking the Miami Dolphins. I hope that this is not Rex Ryan's last game. Win, lose, or draw. I think Rex Ryan should coach. But if the Jets lose this game, expect Rex Ryan to be fired. I mean, what have you done for me lately? It's, it's, but hey, no one expected the Jets to be to win seven games. They expected them to win two games, so Jesus Christ. That's living beyond expectations. Still, though, it's a playoff miss. Taking the Dolphins. Moving on. Ravens taking on the Cincinnati Bengals. The Ravens cannot sit out their players this year. Unlike last year, where the Bengals and the Ravens were basically playing a preseason game. <coughs> It won't be that way this time around. And the Bengals have never beaten Joe Flacco in a meaningful game. I think that changes this Sunday, because I'm taking Cincinnati here. Listen, nothing. Listen, I know the Bengal, I know the Ravens need a win in order to stay alive for the playoffs, this and that, but I don't I just don't think it's gonna happen. I like I like the Raven to lose this game. All right, moving on. Jaguars taking on the Indianapolis Colts. Jacksonville has always played tough at Indianapolis. Win, lose, or draw, I'll take the Colts here. Although this is technically a meaningless game. I know a lot. I know a first round buy is on the line for the Indianapolis Colts, but they, but it's a but it's a long fucking shot. But I'll take the Colts to win. Anyway. Alright, that's it for the early games. Late games. Rams taking on the Seattle Seahawks. As we all know, the Seattle Seahawks have lost two of their last three games since beating the Saints on ESPN NFL Monday three weeks ago. I know they lost to the Cardinals last week at home. I don't think they're losing to the Rams at home. Because I like the Seahawks here. To clinch home field advantage and obviously the NFC West. 
Broncos taking on the Raiders. Broncos have already clinched the NFC, AFC West. They've also clinched the first round by. Now the only thing that's left is clinching home field advantage. And yes, the Broncos are going to want to win, to win this game and to solidify home field advantage. They cannot afford to lose because the, because the Patriots are not losing to Buffalo. Well, more on that in a second. I'll take the Denver Broncos. Goes, don't. But I won't be surprised if the Broncos lose this game. As the Raiders have always been a pain in the Broncos' ass. 49ers taking on the Arizona Cardinals. The Cardinals, I'm going to take the Cardinals to win, but the Cardinals could very well end up going 11 and 5 and missing the playoffs. That has not happened in five years. I mean, it's only the second time in it. It's only it would only be the third time in NFL history that this type of scenario has happened. But I know the Niners have a lot to play for this that, and that. But look for the Cardinals to spoil the party. I mean, they're basically playing spoiler. Cardinals are still playing for their playoff lives technically, but so I'll take the Cardinals here. But whatever. Moving on, Chiefs taking on the Chargers. And what could be a very meaningless game by the time this game starts because of all the other scenarios? To look for the Chargers to win anyway. And, and it's going to be worse because the Chiefs are most likely going to be sitting out their players. Because this is a meaningless game. Because a win won't ne necessarily help them. A loss won't necessarily hurt them. So yeah, that in mind, I like the Chargers. All right. Buffalo Bills taking on the Patriots. Patriots are going to fucking win this game. End of story. Buccaneers taking on the Saints. Saints should beat the Buccaneers, and I think they will beat Tampa Bay to recapture the NFC South lead. In fact, win the NFC South and clinch a first round and clinch the other first round bye. That's a lot. That's the thing. A lot of shit on the line this weekend. Packers taking on the Chicago Bears. Now, I was going to take the Packers. But after... But after... But after, after careful thinking, yes, Aaron Rodgers is back. Congratulations on that. But I think Green Bay has taken him back way too soon. We'll wait and see. I understand Chicago's run defense is a, is a fucking clusterfuck. I just don't think Green Bay is going to have enough. And I think Rodgers is going to get very rusty in a fucking hurry. So I'm going to take the Chicago Bears in this situation. And the last game of the regular season is once again, once again involves the Cowboys. But because Tony Romo is out for the, is out for the season because of a herniated disc that he just had surgery on, so Kyle Orton is going to start an NFL game for the first time in two years. Well, look for the Cowboys to win this one. Yeah, I, you, know, you know, with DeMarco Murray, you know, they're going to finally run the football a little bit. If Kyle Orton can calm himself down, yeah, I think the Cowboys could, are going to pull this one out. Okay, that's it for the fake pick. Here's the reality pick. Eagles are going to fucking slaughter them. As I think they've learned, as I think they've learned something from the last time the Eagles faced the Cowboys. And because they don't have Tony Romo, no, no disrespect to, for, against Kyle Orton, but he hasn't started a, a full game in two years. So that's it for the NFL picks. At least for the regular season. Like I said, all my picks will be made. All my pick changes will be made down below in the description box. So, till next time, later, fuckers.